Welcome ladies and gentlemen to this last game of Rugby Championship as South Africa take on the All Blacks from the Springbok Stadium. It is all to play for here as South Africa are one hand on the trophy already. If the All Blacks win this game and South Africa get a bonus point try and win or lose by less than seven, South Africa will still secure the trophy today. So the All Blacks must make sure that they win and win really good today in order to win this trophy. South Africa on the other hand just need victory here today to lift that prestigious trophy today. So definitely all to play for in a phenomenal game ahead of us. There is a couple of injuries for South Africa and the All Blacks. The likes of Ari Sevilla and also Richie Moanga are not available. Let's just go ahead and have a look at the Haka real quickly. An absolutely phenomenal tradition from the All Blacks getting goosebumps every time I watch it. So, Burden Barrett is going to start this game for us. And there we go. Taken in by Faf de Klerk out to Andre Pollard. He gets thumped in the tackle. Now South Africa secured possession though. What can I do with this ball? Goes out to the Clerk. Out to Andreas Reisen. And he's going to thump it downfield. Beautiful kick by Andreas Reisen. And chased by the Springboks. Now taken in by Bowden Barrett and Andreas Reisen. Oh goodness gracious. What a bad tackle from Andreas Reisen. Just praised him for an absolutely phenomenal kick downfield. But gives away a penalty and very lucky not to get the yellow card. So Barrett is going to kick this into touch. For the All Blacks, fine touch, run about the 10 metre line of South Africa. And the All Blacks have a chance to attack now. The throw in coming from Cody Taylor. Let's see what's going to happen here now. It's not in straight but stolen by Snayman now. Andre Pollard takes it up. Out to Lukanya. Um, he passes to Nkosi. Back inside to Andre Esterazen. Out to Vermeulen. Ruck has been formed but it's been turned over by the All Blacks. Now, per now La La La. Out they go. They're on the attack just between the 10 and the 22 meter line. Oh, this ball coming back for the All Blacks. Very slow ball coming for them. They do have it back now, Moody. He gets thumped in the tackle. Now Retallick goes out. Still on the attack. Oh, come on. Another high tackle by Peter Steff, the Tway. And a chance here for the All Blacks to capitalize on that. So really poor discipline from the box very early on in this game. And it's going to be Josh Uwani with the kick at goal. Obviously Richie Mohanga is injured. So it's already severe for the All Blacks. South Africa we've got Colby and the Eleni and Lua de Jager out injured. Nothing wrong with that kick. So the All Blacks up by three points to nil in this rugby championship finale the restart here by Andre Pollard goes downfield deep kick in chased by Mapimpi and he's got the possession as well now oh intercepted there by the All Blacks so they've got possession back now just outside their own 22 at the moment ball has been fed by Lalala but he loses it in contact now it's a bit South Africa now on the attack can I get this ball back yes they can Chance now for South Africa Kulisi. The Clark finds a little bit of space. Oh, thumping tackle by the All Blacks, but they still got possession. Now it goes out to Esther Eisen. What was that? Terrible little drop kick from him. He's done one good thing so far and two bad things. So he needs to get back into this game very quickly. 
It's it's as if the momentum is with Crouch. not with him at Bond. the moment. Six. Scrum put in here by Aaron Smith. Great little scrum from the All Blacks. What are they going to do now? Going for a little set play here. Now to Joshua. Out it goes to to Bridge, but he gets tackled into touch by Nkosi. So good defence there by the Springboks. 23 minutes gone and South Africa now on the attack just outside the 22. Throw in by Bonambi. Fine sets a bit. So they're going to, drive the, to go for the driving more. But it's very static at the moment. Now they found a little bit of a drive but they stopped again. Now cuts off. Out it goes to Pollard. Pollard hits a gap. This could be an opportunity for South Africa. But great defence there by Burden Barrett. Will they get the ball back? Now Fafta Kerga to Peter Steph the Tway. South Africa five meters from the try line now. Quick ball required from Fafta Clark. Out to Vermeulen. Andre Pollard and over he goes. So South Africa takes first blood when it comes to scoring tries. And they're on their way to victory here at the Springbok Stadium. Great build up there from the Springboks. First a break by Andre Pollard, then setting it up beautifully for Peter Steph the Tway. And then back again, quick hands from Vermeulen and Andre Pollard just dives over for the first try of the game. Conversion should be no problem for Andre Pollard. It's going straight through the middle, so 7 points to 3, South Africa up by against the All Blacks, 30 minutes gone in this game. Now the restart from Bowden Barrett. Goes in deep, finds the Clark. Got tackled beautifully and now South Africa still in possession. Pick and go by Famille and Bonambi out to Pollard, gets driven back in a tackle and Andre Pollard is down. This could be a really big blow for South Africa. They are going to bring on Francois Stein in the place of Andre Pollard, so really sad to see him leave. Looks like a little neck injury, so he will take no part in this game any further as Francois Stein comes on to the field. Crouch. Had a phenomenal game Five. against the All Blacks a couple of games ago when he slotted the winning goal. So hopefully he can do the same today. Scrum feed by South Africa. Now out to Francois Stein. He's going to thump it downfield. He's found a bit of space there at the back. Collected there by Burden Barrett. Great defence from Francois Stein chasing his own kick, but the All Blacks now on the attack. Svitalik out to Leonard Brown who finds a bit of space. Oh, but a thumping tackle from Faf de Klerk. And South Africa is going to have the putting to the scrum. So small little errors coming from the All Blacks at the moment. But a telling tackle there from Faf de Klerk as you guys can see there. Beautiful tackle from the Klerk on Leonard Brown. So, scrum on halfway for South Africa. Fed in by the Clark. Going for a little set play here. Francois Stein out to um Finds a bit of space for Mapimpi. And he's going with a little chip kick over the top. Was he taken out late there? Referee says play on. So now the All Blacks on the attack. Oh, and another thumping tackle from South Africa and another knock-on from Anton Leonard Brown. The defence is absolutely ruthless in this game. You can see the big tackle from Archias Neyman. Well, we are going to half-time then. South Africa leading by 7 points to 3 with 40 minutes to play. As you guys can see, possession and territory going the way of South Africa. 68 and 57 percent. All Blacks making more tackles, three line breaks from South Africa, two penalties conceded and three handling errors from the All Blacks. So a lot of pressure on the All Blacks in this game with 40 minutes to go. 
It is going to be Francois Stein with the restart in the second half. Goes in, taken in by Nikosi, so South Africa on the attack. But an intercept, and now the All Blacks with a bit of space. Another intercept by Mapimpi. Will South Africa secure possession? Yeah, yes, they will. Now the clerk out to Kulisi. He takes it up. Not enough support at the breakdown for South Africa, and they're going to lose possession. Now out it goes for the All Blacks. On the attack inside their own half. Goes out to Moody. Back inside, but solid defense from the Springboks, and this could be a turnover ball. South Africa's now secured possession. What are they going to do? Fuck the clap, slow ball coming. Mapimpi, he's going to do a little chip kick over the top. Chased by Villiluru, and Villiluru, oh, he's so short, just one meter short. Now Bonami picks, and he goes over for the try. Beautifully done by South Africa. And now they're surely on their way to lifting that trophy. One hand on the trophy already. Now just placing the rest of the right hand on that trophy as well. Beautiful little kick by Mapimpi. Collected beautifully by Vili. Just couldn't get the grounding down. And then Bonambi just picked and go and scored South Africa's second try. So Stain is going to go for the conversion now. 49 minutes played in this game. So with 30 minutes left, South Africa could have just sealed this with this try. But we know the All Blacks are a different team and can hit back at any time. So it's going to be interesting to see what happens with the rest of this game. Bowden Barrett with the restart. Taken in there by France Malharba. Now, slow ball coming for South Africa again. Faf the Clark spots, there's nobody at the back and he puts a big kick downfield. Chase here by the Clark and Mapimpi. Good defense from, oh, a high tackle there from Mapimpi. And again, South Africa very lucky not to get the yellow card. The referee being very lenient today. So Barrett is going to kick this downfield for the All Blacks again. Finding touch on the 10 meter line of South Africa. The lineouts haven't worked that well for the All Blacks today. Cody Taylor missing quite a few lineouts so far. Throwing goes and again stolen by Archias Neyman. So South Africa on the attack again. It's Esther Aizen to Am. He finds a bit of space now. Need quick hands to Nikosi. And Nikosi is going to be away. There's nobody in the fence. And of course he will surely now seal it for the box. Try under the posts. And that is the final nail in the coffin for the All Blacks. Surely now. At 19 points to free with the conversion to come. Surely there's no way back for the All Blacks now. South Africa's just been ruthless in their approach tonight. And a wonderful try by Sabu Nikosi. Stain can do this in his sleep, so let's see what happens. Straight through the middle it goes, South Africa 21, the All Blacks 3. And you can see Francois Stain already celebrating. And the All Blacks looks down and out. 20 minutes to go in this last game. Collected there by Archias Neyman. Ball coming back for, for South Africa now. Going for another little set play now. Out to Stain. Finds Lukanya Am. The offload to Vili Leru. Out to Nkosi. Almost yeah, he's found space again but gets driven back in the tackle. They've lost possession now. Chance here for the All Blacks to counter. If they can score next, there might still be hope for them. Aaron Smith picks and go. Back to Sam Kane. Goes out to Cody Taylor. Now the All Blacks making some good yards. Aaron Smith snipes again. But good defense from the Springboks. Pick and go there. By Turnover by South Africa. And another chance here. Now Mapimpi gets driven back in the tackle. Slow ball coming for South Africa. Snayman 
Malherbe out to Am. Back inside to Peter Steff to Twain Abunambi. Just putting South Africa under pressure at the moment as Bunambi throws a loose pass into touch. So another chance at line out, but something that the All Blacks not looking forward to maybe. And Jeep is another line out still and South Africa gets away with the ball. Now Esther is an out in Nkosi. Goes out to Am. Back inside to Francia Stein, but good defense from the All Blacks. Now kick downfield by Faf de Klerk. Nobody at home. It's a chase between Smith and the Klerk. Who's going to get there? The, the Klerk tackles Aaron Smith, but he got the pass away. All Blacks inside the round 22 at the moment. Now Jack Goody pumps it downfield, and that's a brilliant relieving kick from the center. All the way up to halfway. And now Stain, surely, with four minutes to go, South Africa got this game in the back now. Good throw in, taken by the Tway. Now the Clark Mapimpi. Out to Lukanya Am. Um, throws another loose pass and Sever Reese collects. Now Leonard Brown back inside to Reese. South Africa just controlling the defensive line beautifully at the moment. All Blacks not going anywhere. Now Joe Moody picks it up and go. Aaron Smith out to Retallick. Back to Severis. He's found a bit of space again. Just outside the 22 of South Africa now. Great little run from Dalton Papali there. Now Aaron Smith picks and go. Out to Whitelock. Inside South Africa's 22 at the moment. Slow ball coming back for the All Blacks. The hood is gone, so this game is over. Just need to get hold of the ball and kick it out. It's South Africa now. Another pick and go. And now Retallick. But isolated turnover by Vermeulen. Now, of course, the Estreisen back inside to Elizabeth. Ergius Neyman back to Kitsov. Will South Africa get this ball? They need to kick this out. Faf de Klerk. Out to Esther Eisen. And a high tackle there on Esther Eisen. And surely that is going to be it. Quick tap from Esther Eisen. And he says that's it. South Africa has won the Rugby Championship trophy. In a brilliant fashion. Outplaying the All Blacks today. So congratulations to South Africa. For another hard fought victory over the All Blacks. The All Blacks just never got going. And you could feel that they missed their, their pivot at fly half. So, another title for the Springboks in a very well fought uh, competition with Australia really bringing it and then also the All Blacks. There we go, Sia Kalisi lifting the trophy for South Africa. This is an absolutely great victory for South African rugby. So, hope you guys enjoyed this. Until next time, this is the Rugby Guru. Cheers for now.